So we did it. We made weight. With short with shorts on. 88 fucking kilos. I am the most conditioned person here. People, people, people were taking their kit off to get on the scales and they were fat. Immediately putting it back on. Yeah. Fat. Corey was like, fat, fat, fat. So what are we doing, babe? Uh, to be fair, I did already go through this, man. Uh, Banana, 300 gram Frosties, 30 gram whey, one muffin, uh, a litre of apple juice, and then whatever amount of fluid Corey wants to put in the, in the way, really. What a time to be alive. So Mads has bought a Pyrex bowl, whey. <laughs> Fucking hell, is that 300 grams? <laughs> Loading scene for the man, Slee Raw, at Fubo. Oh, what hoodie is that, mate? Oh, wow. This is new. Oh my god. No, nobody, nobody has this hoodie. It's an ultra insulinogenic hoodie for the car loading. It's an ultra mate weight hoodie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time you put that hoodie on, you lose a kilo. <laughs> so don't wear it in the off season. You might need more water with this car. Yeah, I know. Probably like 400. We'll go 400 and then. Sauce. I think there's one literally at the bottom yeah, down she here. Said, that, yeah. she said there's one in this building. In the building? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Joe's going to get a coach pass. I'm going to eat. Do you know what, right? This girl right here. I know I, was, I, know I always get sentimental when I'm about to eat carbs, but fuck me if it wasn't for this girl. Jesus Christ. She's lugged around that food for the past hour and a half on her back so I can be ready to eat straight away. How good. You literally just don't get better. I said to Mads the other day, I want to marry her again. She was like, Corey, we've, we haven't even been married a year. I said, I want a year anniversary. I don't want to get married. She was like, or we could just go on holiday. I was just like, yeah, we could do that. But we're going to get, we're going to get us meaning. Let's go. One meal in, and we are set up for programming, replies, adjustments, coaching. Really, to be fair, one of the uh, one of the things I think is massively important to remember. And um, although some of you may not give a shit about this, who are watching. Uh, you one or two viewers the keep watching don't turn off um is we as coaches obviously joe coaches me although he's out in germany he's still got other clients to look after um although me and mads are coaches and or sorry although me and mads are athletes uh we're still coaches so being over in germany doesn't mean we just stop working. Um, we still need to get our jobs done to be able to put us in a position where we are fortunate enough where we can just jump on a flight and we can manage our own time. We can go to Germany, we can go to fucking Ohio and we can do all these things. So it's important that you guys understand and, and take away and see the reality of, although we're, we're servants to the sport should we say <laughs> as athletes as coaches um we're still always focusing on working for our clients and the people that make it possible to for us to be able to do that so we've uh, we've got one meal in we're going to aim for every sort of two hours or so i think um so we're going to get some work done for the next hour and then we're going to look to sort of factor in every block of meal we're going to look to sort of move around go for a bit of a walk get intestinal transit going 
um, and then also pose as well. So we'll catch up with you in an hour, next meal, and then we'll get some posing done. You guys ain't gonna believe this. The size of this fucking bowl. <laughs> I haven't had a carb in five days. <laughs> Six days. There is more carbs in this bowl than I've had all week. By a lot. Oh. We've got the fucking R&B tunes on. Hey. Carbs are flowing. R&B is playing, feel really good about tomorrow. Ready to go to battle. But you know what, I'm not gonna, I think you guys have probably noticed from a vocabulary standpoint about how I'm approaching tomorrow. I'm a lot more balanced, I feel, this time around. The reality is setting huge expectations and I think almost and I won't say disrespecting the card or disrespecting the title that I'm trying to go for, but making out like this is just something you can you can diet hard for and just walk into. There's a shitload of good athletes around the world, and I am competing with athletes from around the world. And the reality is, just because I'm not, I haven't won my pro card yet, doesn't mean I'm not deserving of it. But you need to turn up with everything everything right, and you need to be in front of the right judges. So for me. I'm just going to focus on doing the best I possibly can tomorrow, um, nailing this peak, which we are doing so far, really from a timing perspective, like it couldn't be better, I feel great, I feel excited, it's been fucking a lot of hard work to get here this week, but as a result, I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to fucking give it my best shot and what will be will be. Um, it's not taking it away from no surrender, it's not taking it away from the battle mentality that I've got and that killer instinct that I naturally have because I am a competitor and I go anywhere to win. Um, but I am also being um, realistic with what I need to focus on doing and that is the job more than anything else. So we're going to get this gigantic bowl in, drink cake for breakfast if you're off season and what's it called should we say round two is this round one of this meal second meal okay this is second meal but i've got another next portion no what's it called in a restaurant when you have another it's like start a main another course course number two is coming up cereal first let's go Tricky tonight and the AM. They seem like to keep like a flat area under the curve with some of our T3 would be just like impossible. Just like that. 300 grams of sugar puffs or honey wheats. If you are Jaman, guten tag. I said to I said to the woman in the spa this morning, she went good morning. And I said, guten tag, and she went. Good morning. I was like, good morning. <laughs> anyway, um, that's been nailed. Course two is, what is it, Madeline? A lot of lemon curd. Three pieces of toast and a muffin with 60 grams of lemon curd. My childhood saviour. That's what my childhood looked like. Lul. Messy. Messy. <laughs> Burnt and full of flavour. <laughs> Be grateful. Showered slee. Porting for another meal. Um, update. Where did we get to last? You ate a meal and then I recorded you moaning about jam on toast before you got in the shower. Jam on toast. No, I was... Oh, did you? Oh yeah, custard. So I've just had a shower, just moaned about eating, which is funny because for the past five days I'm eating a carb as I've told you 400 times, but just so you all know. Um, we're gonna roll in for another meal now. We went for a walk, went to a coffee shop, 
Um, forgot the camera. We didn't really forget the camera, but we did. But it's more of the idea of like every single person in this room, myself, Joe and Mads, have put a hell of a lot into getting here. Um, and it is week in, week out, relentless effort from every party. Um, and it was nice to be honest with you, just to sit down. Me and Joe had a, um, a very manly green tea, didn't we, Joe? Mm. Mads had an extremely manly caffeinated coffee, which looked like fucking tarmac. Um, so we just took took some took some time. Feel good from it. Move uh, move some food around a little bit. I think in total the the walk to the coffee shop and back was like. So 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back, which is nice. Um, make a little bit of room for the next meal, which is, has been lovingly prepared, which sure you all know, but just so you can see it. 100 grams of banana, 150 frosties, a muffin, and then two pieces of toast with 40 grams of jam? 20. 20 grams of jam on each? No. 20, 20 grams of jam altogether. So you can't bitch and moan about being too much jam? So I can't bitch and moan about the ratios ratios. Who would have thought this time yesterday I would be moaning about ratios of carbohydrates. But there we go. It's one extreme to the other doing this. Um, certainly in classic I think. Something I've come to realise like the intensity and effort that it takes to even get to a cap and then to get from the cap to where you actually need to be is uh, I wouldn't say difficult but obviously it is intense. Anyway I'm gonna fuck off now and eat my food and I'll probably catch up with you on second course, that's what it's called, isn't it? Course. Second course, which is jam and toast. I wouldn't normally wear a sock. But I don't want Joe to laugh at me. <laughs> Tanya's going on. Last thing you need to worry about, mate. You're not comparing too much. <laughs> that's, the type, that's the type of banner that I live for. <laughs> it's just truth, mate. Turn around. So it's been a while since Mads has a tanned, tanned the old bod. We used to do this religiously, didn't we, babe? Yep. And then I decided I couldn't be asked. Well, so go on. Isn't it very bright in here, do I? It's because there's a light. Shit. I wonder if anyone yawned when I just yawned. When they were watching this. Not because it's boring, but because... Oh. Because... That's what you do when someone else is someone else yawns, right? The load is complete. The only thing I've got left is two two hundred grams of carbs, or to be fair, something like hundred grams of carbs in the rest <coughs> of that water bottle, and I'm done. I think this is the best look to date, based on current condition at this very moment in time throughout the load we are going to bed at a little bit earlier than what we do normally and we plan to lie in in the morning we don't have to be at the venue till half ten um, we've got nothing else to do I'm not getting tanned there because I'm getting tanned by the tank tanks tanning so it's going to be a super chill morning I'm not eating in the morning based on what happened at the Ben Weeder. Clearing intestinal volume just isn't something I want to be doing tomorrow. Um, or is the only thing I want to be doing tomorrow. Um, and having another meal in the morning just will really slow that down. Um, and what I want wanted to focus on this time around was being able to be as comfortable as I can on stage. Hit vacuums how I know I can hit them, pose how I know I can pose. Um, and really just control my midsection. The only way that that's gonna happen is if my midsection is, is empty. 
um, which is why food this time around. So last time when we loaded, I put 2,300 grams of carbs in. Um, this time around, put just over 1,900, so a little bit less. Um, and the loads, the loads have gone well. I have, I have felt full, obviously. Um, anyone who has ever had to consume this much food, um, you'll understand. Certainly, going from like a deficit state, um, where I'm literally eating and weighing out not only my meat but my fucking salad. Um, it's a very, very intense transition. It happens very, very quickly. And it catches up with you even quicker so it's great i've got this anecdotal experience really for for my future for my future self future um loads with clients etc it's good to uh, it's good to understand the severity or the the intensity that can be that can come from having to load a, a, a capped physique um in a very very short window of time um but that being said, Maz is going to make herself a tank sized bowl of oats. You've got quite a lot of calories because you've had five meals, today, haven't you? No, I was resting. I know it's not training. I ate loads pre post workout. <laughs> she, ate, she ate loads pre and post workout. She waited for me to fuck off to the, uh, to the hell sauna. And, uh, and then caned 500 grams of carbs. Um, I imagine they're still going to be tank size, as we all know. Mads is famous for her uh, OTs, so she's going to get her oats in now. I'm going to finish off the day. We are going to get into bed, and tomorrow we go to war. See you in the morning. Peace. It's fucking show day. Wait. I feel good. How much sleep have we had? Seven and a half hours? Probably not. Maybe not. Tan's looking a little bit ropey. Every time I woke up, you weren't in bed, so. Yeah, because I was going to the toilet. Um, we're up. I've just been for. Sorry to sound too crude. But the biggest number two ever. 1900 gram of carb went in yesterday. Um, as I said to you last night, the plan of action this morning is just clearance. I'm fucking so dry. Um, And we get drier. The, the the main focus for for us this time around was comfort, um, being able to present how I want to present, being able to move how I wanted to move, vacuum, etc. And the reality is, Ben Weeder, I was just too full um, through the stomach, which made it really hard to feel composed on stage. So, and the regional, obviously due to the carb up, as you've all known, because you've all seen the. Uh, You've seen the vlog, if you haven't, go back and watch. My face looks fucking sunk in there. So, operation this morning. I won't say dry out, but it is very much a case where it's like... Get empty. Get empty. Vacuum. It's gonna be deeper than my Don't know. Hold that thought. We get the ro we get the day rolling. Let's fucking do this. Yeah. Probably the best you've looked, to be honest. I feel that as it goes. Fucking tons of best experience now.
Nice. It's fucking day there. Yeah, boy! Bring the lap right round. Yeah. Nice. What are you saying, Joe? On. On. Ready to rock. Best look. I think season, it's the best this week. Sure. I feel like it's the erector striations into the arse. Yeah. <laughs> That's the icing on the cake. <laughs> Show me the feathers. Yeah, man. Boy. The feathers on the BMO as well. You look good. Even just running that round there, you've got it lit up as well. Yeah. Ready for some tan? Yeah. Tan me up, baby. Let's fucking do this. I just had to show you guys how nuts this Doing looks. A little hamstring curl. <laughs> Good. Mm. <laughs> Again, Airbnb venue. <laughs> Nailed it. place is massive. Joe's got his badge on. Did struggle. <laughs> we got there in the end. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is. Are you feeling G? Where's the rest of you crew? Stephen Seeks. Away. UK camp. <laughs> Here he is. Are you feeling G? Where's the rest of you crew? Stephen Seeks. Away. Game time, baby. We are backstage at FIBO. The glaze is going on. The secret hot stuff protocol is going on. We're ready to rock. It's going on soon. I'll get the boy glazed up, pumped up, and it's game time. detail literally like a fucking statue Lutes. How we feeling, boy? Hot stuff. Look at that delts out there. Yeah, Corey, he's on. Beautiful. 
beautiful work, Corey. Yes, Corey. Let's go, Corey. Glutes. Yes. Unreal. Oh yes, Corey's beautiful, man. There it is. Sharp. Wow. Thank you, Corey. on hard Corey reset nice shoulder good man yes man crazy Corey chest up yeah massive good nice your favorite classic pose your time Corey yeah beautiful man Beautiful, Corey. Relax. Well, Thank you, Jeffrey. You follow our stage. Yes, Corey. Yes, Corey. All day. Good man. Let's go. Corey, field house. Let's go, Corey. Oh, yes. 
glory! Okay, so are you guys ready for the overall and the new pro? Come on, Corey! Alright. The overall award and the IFBB Pro League Pro Card goes to number 24, Ron Beckley. There it is, the result, first in the class of 11, second in the overall, by one fucking point. At this stage, at that stage, one point. There's nothing you're doing. I made a decision. I've had the opportunity to speak to every single judge. If I'm honest, I I came off stage. I was, I was heartbroken. I, to be honest, I, I thought I had it. Um, really thought I had it. And, um, and I, as I said, I'm, I'm heartbroken. Came off stage. Had a little bit of a cry. Mads grabbed hold of me. Joe grabbed hold of me and I took, took myself off, sat at the side of the stage and just cried. Um, and then I saw one of the judges turn to the table and uh, so I thought, fuck it. I thought, I want to find out what's happened here. So I said, can I have some feedback? She said, she had you stunning, really, really good. I had you as winning. Cool. Spoke to another judge, studying really, really good, had he was winning. Spoke to another judge, had he was winning. Spoke to, um, spoke to one of the um, directors of the MPC, and, uh, and he said, said, to be honest with you, I thought that was yours, but best thing to do is speak to Bill, head, head judge, and see what the score is. And one point. One fucking point. So, I've made a decision that we're going to go for some food and then I'm going to please give some time to Mads the, in, the intensity that this sport creates um, for, for a relationship is very very difficult um, but she's so supportive, I'm so grateful, so grateful for Joe for them both making the effort to come out here and the reality is you need to give some time back to them we're going to go get some food I know you always like the food so we're going to show you what we're going to have post show um, and then I'll update you later on with plans we're probably going to sit on it for the next 24 hours but either way you'll have an update for you guys watching thank you for you guys supporting I love you and for everyone else it's, a, it's, it's always no surrender baby oh Best athlete and definitely best dressed. <laughs> Show day chic. Show day chic. chic baby. Oh. You glad I made you brought shorts now? Chic and Corey had some like skanky night joggers and I said. I don't know about skanky. They're probably the only ones that actually fit me for a fucking start. They're like large. I said, do you want to put a pair of like half decent shorts in that bag? <laughs> Find somewhere to eat. Hi guys. Yeah. Hello. Hi. English, right? Yes. English. Course number one. Coming in. Me in the tank. I started eating. And Mads was like, do you want to maybe film this considering we've filmed everything so far? Fucking sweet. Now, I don't know what you guys will say in the comment below if you want, but um, he said, okay, so with your chicken, do you want any, um, do you want any sauce? Like, what are the options? So said, barbecue, barbecue. 
It's always barbecue. And we have got sour cream, so fuck your sour cream, bruh. In the barbecue, eh? Lovely. Are you up in the funky? Yeah? It beats West Day poverty portions, to be honest. Definitely does. I think. I think we did good. Joe's on the cereal. The man doesn't miss. Zero fucks is all we're saying. Zero fucks, baby. This is spelt in the German. Well. Yeah. Should have told him to read your top and tell you to put your that bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about that? Fuck's sake. We roll on. Eat up. Two burgers and a pint of green tea. It's what most people peek on, right? Joe, the only thing we're missing is a dozo. <laughs> walking around in circles Joe's, again. Joe's walking his yogurt and fucking frosty self. Um, but ready to eat. Probably guess. That's my beautiful wife. Um, Good for you, babe. Enjoy your burgers. For now. Enjoy <laughs> Oh, look, we're matching blues. Sleaze blue, dabba dee dabba dee. I'm repping. Mm. We've just spent the last fucking hour, lads. Sorry about that. Flick, flicky tail. Um, we've just spent the last post burger, post burger reflection moment. This is like a therapy session we, when we all sit around in a circle, hold hands and sing from <laughs> and pray, pray to the Lord of bodybuilding that maybe one day we'll get a result that is deserved. But anyway, um, <laughs> this. Um, it's a bitter pill to swallow, guys. It is. Um, and what is what the what the consensus is around the UK bodybuilding scene? And first of all, I just want to say for all of you watching and supporting who have done so, um, regardless when you sort of have jumped on to show love and support, um, like every single one of you who have watched and streamed and paid and. To, to come to fucking shows in the UK or, or to get live streams from the Arnolds or today. The consensus is, is we've been let down. We've been let down for the second time. We won't talk about two UK shows, um, but specifically my two best looks we feel. Um, best best um, presentation overall were the Arnolds and um, Fibo, and and I think one of the reasons for that, personally, I, th I think was for me just more competing on home soil. But I'll touch on that another time. Um, but we were let down by the judging panel again today, um, which is hard to which is a hard pill to swallow. Um, we lost out by one point, apparently, um, and on what I don't fucking know. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, so we've had a burger. Um, we've we've sat, done some plotting. We've sat and plotted um, and bitch and moaned that we haven't bitch and moaned. And Joe's we, spoken sense. Joe's spoken sense. Over, over a shisha and a bag of salad, <laughs> we have decided that what we will be doing moving forward will be announced very, very shortly um, in terms of the next move. But I think with the fact that we're about to go to the airport and nobody needs to see me sat in a lounge, pro cardless, crying, ready to board a plane. We're gonna sign off here. But again, the journey never stops. No surrender is a mantra that will forever stay with me because the reality is that is my life. It's what I've always had to, I've always, and this isn't a, a feel sorry for Corey moment, but I've always faced adversity, no matter what it is. Whether it be mental never, health, never ever ever had an easy, easy never. ride. Whether it be mental health battles, 
physical health battles, fucking judging battles. <laughs> um, nothing, nothing has ever been easy for me and the reality is I still and will always get up and keep on fighting, fighting and moving forward in whichever way I possibly can. If you can't go under, if you can't go over, if you can't go around the side, you go straight through the fucking middle. And that's what No Surrender is about. Um, so, I will, we will update you on the next vlog. Um, by the time you watch this, there will already be an update on... The Gram. The Gram and the socials. Um, but as always guys, big love for the support. I want to say thank you to Mads, thank you to Joe. Um, for, for making this happen, which at this stage in my prep isn't an easy task. Um, I'm a hard, I'm a hard customer to deal with, um, and um, and and Joe, Joe's level of care and investment, Mads's level of care and investment, the love that I'm gifted and the time that I'm gifted and the effort that I'm gifted is is incredible. So. Thank you to them both. Thank you for you guys watching. As always, it's not over till Slee sings and I failed music. So, no surrender. See you next episode. Peace. It's not over until Fat Slee sings in the off season. There you go. Peace, Joe. I didn't realise. Oh, hey. Peace. Bye. And bye. Peace out, guys. <laughs>